Let's have a little listen on this uh, Spani Lata by uh, Gaspar Sands. Uh, well, this comes from my Grade 2 Repertoire Lessons ebook. Um, there's a link for the PDF underneath the video, so you can check that book out. But you probably have this book, uh, this piece in other books, so feel free to just watch the lesson for free and pick up some of the tips. One of the main reasons I added this particular piece into the book was to introduce trills or ornamentation. So nice, simple little trills. So we are going to go through each of the trills in this piece. But before we have a big discussion on that, let's just walk through the piece and talk about playing it without the ornaments. Because one of the things about ornamentation is that it decorates the primary musical line. So let's just play the music without the ornaments, which is something you should always practice anyway. And then um, we'll add the ornaments after. Here, just make sure your bar is nice and straight. You kind of have that open string to get up there. You can drop the bass if you need to. So it's pretty clean. Just make sure that you're close to the frets on um, all the strings of your barre. Then reach two down, and during that open string, get back to first position. So from bar five there. why I chose 3-2 here for a fingering. Um, one of the main reasons is that um, the, the note before is a G-sharp. So you're using your first finger, so you can't, you can't just jump the first finger over or you'll have to let go of that note. So we use 2-3. You're going to this kind of negative position. Um, when I say negative, I mean first position, zero position. So we move our hand into this other place here, but it just makes it more legato from the G sharp. And then you get out of it right away. So let's talk about these ornaments now. Um, in my book, I've actually written above the trill what notes to play. Um, that will really help you as an introduction into ornamentation and trills. But let's just talk a little bit about trills. So um, a trill is a rapid alternation between two notes. Sometimes the ornaments will decorate the primary note in a piece. Sometimes it causes harmonic tension. And other times it just adds a kind of fluttering decorative character to the music. So let me give you some examples here of two different types of trills that we'll be using in this piece. One starts from the upper auxiliary, the note that comes from above. That creates harmonic tension. So if we're in a C chord and I start on an F, going to an E, the F is tension. E is the release of the tension or resolution. So tension, resolution, right? So that's starting from the note above. Other times I'll start from the written primary note. So C is part of this A minor chord, and I'm just decorating it with the D. So how do you choose? Well, there's no specific rules on which, which one you do. Now, later in the Baroque, it's very common to trill from the upper auxiliary at all times. Like when you hear Bach, often you'll hear the upper auxiliary being the starting note. But Sands is pretty early on, um, almost in between the Renaissance and the, and the Baroque era, so um, I'm using both um, very freely. It's part of just an interpretive choice and partly historical awareness. So, um, you, you know, you can ask your teacher on which ones to use. In my book, I tell you which notes to use for this example, um, just to help you out. But you, you should keep in mind that there's a whole bunch of historical awareness um, uh, connected to ornamentation especially if you start doing free ornamentation just anywhere in the piece, which we won't do today, but you'll see in my other videos. So how did I choose which um, trills to use? Well, if the note before the trill is the upper note, the note above the primary note, I use the upper auxiliary because it adds, it works as a suspension. If 
if the note before the C chord is an F, then I use the F to start the trill and then resolve into the E. F, E, F, E. If the note before isn't the upper auxiliary or the upper note, then I just decorate the primary note. So if the note, primary note is C, I'll just decorate it with a D. Um, we're going to use slurs to play all of these. We're not going to do cross string trills today. We'll just be doing um, left hand slurs to play the trills. So let's walk through all the different trills. I'll just call out the note names. And then when you're practicing the piece, I hope that that helps you out a little bit. It's a big discussion. I have a bunch of written information about trills. I also write out the trills as notation, but it looks really complicated, so don't worry about that. It's a rapid little flutter. I will count it out um, so you know, but it looks more complicated than it is. Usually when you see ornamentation um, written, it just says like TR, right? It just says trill, and then it's up to you to decide what to do. So the first ornamentation we'll do is C, D, C. So I'll count that out. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that one just decorates the primary note. Starts on the primary note and ends on the primary note. The written note that's in the piece. Second one, F, E, F, E. That one starts on the upper auxiliary. F, E, F, E. E is the written note. E. That one starts from the primary note. E, F, E. E is the written note in the piece. Or one, sorry, one, two, three. Next one, D, C, D, C. So this is decorating the written note C by going D, C, D, C. The next one is um, a trill from A, G sharp, A, G sharp. The written note is G sharp and we're decorating it with an A and um, it's on the lower voice. You have to be careful that you don't accidentally slur, like pull down so much that you mute the string below. Yeah. One, two, three. Next one is C, B, C. We're decorating the open B string here with the upper auxiliary C. One, two, three. Again, harmonic tension going and resolving to that B. The next one is G, F, G. Um, G, F, G, F, sorry. The written note is F. We're decorating with the high G as the upper auxiliary. One, two, three. There's lots of different ways to do trills. You can extend your trills and do longer, you know, trills and things like that. Today we're just doing these simple little decorative flutters um, just to introduce you to the topic. In later grades we'll talk more about ornamentation. So um, don't overthink it. Um, it's just an introduction. What you really should do is first learn the piece without um, any trills. Making sure it's in time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. When you add the trills in, don't overthink it. It's just a little slur, right? One, two, three, one. shouldn't disrupt the rhythm in any way, so make sure you have a nice steady beat and that you're just kind of getting this light ref, um, reflex-oriented slur. If you're having trouble with the slurs, um, maybe check out some of my lesson videos on slurs. Um, I have lots of those on the website. I have a post that has four videos about slurs, so you might want to check that out as well.